Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to making survival horror creatures, or designing, I should say, or making trippy edition. <laughs> Here, you can see I've done quite a lot of work on our uh, mushroomy friend, and he kind of looks totally different to what he looked like before. Um, so, yeah. It is what it is. I'm quite happy to. Uh, I'm quite happy with the mushroom. He's kind of. You might be thinking, why does he have like the stem coming up here? Why doesn't it go straight in the middle? And the reason for that is because underneath, da -da 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 -da, he's gonna have these spiky like things coming out of here. And I've rigged it so. Uh, let me see. When. Um, when the spikes come out so his head will tilt backwards like um hang on because this is all gonna have bones in it the neck let me just uh get my way there so the he head will kind of bend back at this kind of angle and then this um i've got this bone set up up here and it can make this uh oh wait I'm in edit mode, that's why. It can uh, open up. So the, the mushroom will start closed when it's um, down and then it can go like, <clears throat> and there'll be like these uh, spines that come out. I'll probably scale it a little bit as well when it comes out like this. So it's like really open and it'll be like, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Maybe something a little bit more intimidating than, <laughs> So, how are you guys doing? It's nice to see you. I hope you're having an awesome day. Someone just told me they think my channel's gonna blow up, so now I feel really excited. <laughs> okay, I'm still wondering about if to have these things as individual segments i think i will because it's enough that this thing stretches i don't want to make it too like that you know yeah <laughs> but for now anyway i need to just add some of the yeah i just wanted to add some uh what do you call it the spikes for the mouth so Let's go into object mode, edit mode. These are going to be like separate bones, like these fingers. All of these things are their own separate objects, like we had in, uh, like I use in my other characters. So these spines that come out of these will also be independent, but they'll each be basically exactly the same. So um, I should only need to, you know do it once <laughs> well maybe they'll be the same i if you might notice i made him kind of asymmetrical apart from the stem at the back I'm, which i'm gonna mess with but apart, the arms are symmetrical but the head and everything like that is kind of wonky and i wanted to give it that kind of wonky vibe you know not too um too obviously straight and perfect because no one's perfect, right? Even this mushroom. Uh, I'm just gonna... Hey, Victor. How's it going? I'm just gonna monitor this, because... Does my mic sound okay? It sounded like it was some hissing earlier, but I think it's all good. Look! Do, 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 Anyway. <laughs> so. Oh, I should move that bone as well. But for now, I'm just gonna do this stuff with the things and stuff <laughs> how's it going victor so at the cube scale it down uh, like that extrude that's good yeah came a good time we're just starting i like before this i had this I don't know if you saw it, but I had this like mushroom thing that was, it was all right, but it was so like not scary and I just trying to make it scary. <laughs> yeah, everything's good, man. Nothing to complain about. 
Just split these off with Y. Split this off with Y. And then create some new faces with F. So that there's not holes between them. So the way I like to do these kind of things is extruding out and then making them more like circular. Oh damn. So that when they're moving like together, they don't look so obviously separated. That's the kind of thing that it was like in the PS1 era. <laughs> so if you put them in between like that, it kind of works. It kind of, in a way, it kind of looks a bit um, not perfect. Like you can smooth this out even further, but I'm trying to limit the polys, you know? So I'm not sure if I'm going to for this. So you can do it like that. And then the connection isn't as obvious. And especially when they're actually the size of going into this guy, they're going to be pretty uh, negligible. I'm going to need to do some reduction of the amount of tries going on here, though, because we got like friggin' 1,164, which is a bit over what I would want. <laughs> but to be fair, if it still looks like PS1 era kind of graphics and the poly count's a little high, I'm not too fussy about it you know i think some people really want it to be exact but i don't know i think it's okay so now i'm gonna actually while i'm here i'm gonna unwrap this just to save myself so much um hassle later so i'm gonna zoom in on it and then select all these faces with this kind of thing i usually just do a project from view because it's easy and it looks good and then just go around each axis all the axes and just project from view move it somewhere else and then another one hello guys just joining by the way hope you're well and then we'll do another one, this side, project from view. I don't know if I'm going to get to paint in today. I really hope so. Now, did I already? Yeah, I think I did that one. And then this one, project from view. And if I select all of those faces, yeah, that's good. Like, I am doing it now because I want to have a bunch of these and I'm going to bend it in a minute, like bend the positions and I don't want to have to faff around like getting the right position, you know, to get to unwrap it later. All right, L. Mm, well, I better add the armature to it. Well, I can bend it first, it's all right. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. All right, fine. Do it the hard way then, shall we? Uh, object, origin to geometry, no. Origin to geometry, rotate it. <laughs> this is such a like s stupid way of doing it, but it works. <laughs> okay. Right. Now I can just connect these back together. Control J to join. And then there we have it. Oops. Right, now let's get this first spike sized and into position. 
Well, it's going to be need to be a lot smaller than that, isn't it? So I'm going to uh, make it its own thing again. Separate selection. Okay. Maybe if I just get it where it needs to be, then I can work out how uh, how it will go. Okay. So let's just scale it down a bit. Like I might have them a bit longer. I'm not sure yet, but this kind of looks good. I forgot to mention earlier, like with the joints like this, once you smooth shade it, it does look a lot better as well. If it'll allow me to demonstrate, shade smooth, yeah. And if you're obviously playing the game, it's gonna be textured, so you won't even really notice the kind of spaces in between them there. So I'm gonna stretch these out a little, make them a bit more scarifying because I want them to kind of be tucked in when it's in a inactive state you know and then it will be like yeah <laughs> uh, yeah so I'm gonna copy this and just duplicate it around with shift D I don't want them to be linked because I actually I'm gonna make these unique, I think, now. I ch changed my mind. I was just saying that I'd, I'll probably keep them all the same, but then I thought it might add something if these are a bit, a bit more um, asynchronous. Asynchronous, I'm thinking of programming. I mean, asymmetrical. <laughs> so yeah. Ooh, that looks cool. It's like a vampire mushroom. <laughs> Right, so let's copy that again and paste it. I'll be joining all of these together later into one mesh. I don't really bother with... Um, ooh. I guess I'm going to rotate these later when the bones are done because they're just going to overlap right now, but I think it's all right. What was I saying? I forgot. Yeah, like I think... Some people think if you're building these systems, or I thought at first, if you're building the kind of look that Resident Evil has when you have each limb as a separate um, structure, like, they, they, I thought that you would kind of do it with separate objects. And you can do it that way, but there's not really a need. You can just join it all together. I think the only time I would think about um, having an object rather than just the mesh is if uh wait what the frick is happening here did i copy the armature somehow wait let me delete that yeah the only only reason i would make them separate objects is probably if i want to have some kind of limb decapitation or like exploding limbs because that would make that a lot easier unless it's just done in an animation but if you want to have it like in a you know some procedural way like the zombies arms falling off or something it would probably be much easier if you made it an object man i'm so excited about this creature for like the past like literally ages i've been like feeling a bit crap because I just wasn't happy with how this creature was turning out and now I'm like yes <laughs> it's it's like it's finally starting to take shape and it, it's had to kind of completely transform in order for that to happen but I think it was the right thing to do at the end of the day so let's just add this guy here And I'm going to go in and stretch these out in their own kind of ways in a sec to make them a bit more, give them a bit of spice, a bit of flair.
All right, I'm just rotating them around, R and G to position them. Okay, and just one left to go. So Shift D to duplicate that again. I need to get that add-on so you can see the clicks for people who are um, less experienced than me. Although I'm not very experienced, so I don't know how many people will be like that. Okay, so I'm going to just move some of this stuff to be a little bit different. Like I said, now... I need to make sure to reorient these things so that it doesn't um, look bad. <laughs> I think that one should be all right like that. Let me just have a look at the shape of it. Oh, it could do a little bit, just like that. Okay, so let's put that back now. All right. Yeah, it's going to look much better with a little bit of um, a little bit of variety, I think. So let's just get this and no, not that, not that, not that. Okay. So I want to just bring this one up a bit. We'll have a shorter kind of tendril or whatever these things are here. Is this Godzilla? <laughs> Oh, you, you you spoiled the surprise. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the, the Zill Master. Right. Yeah, and when we get to animating these, it's going to be so cool because they're going to be able to, like, open out and the head will come back and, yeah, it's just going to be sweet. <laughs> Okay, so this one can be also a little bit different. Maybe this one has a stubbier. Maybe this can be a really short one, and that'll give a lot of um, difference in the front there. And then we can have... Hmm, I think that's, that's enough to make it believably asymmetrical. Yeah, Jimmy, so there's going to be, like, these mushrooms in a few different areas in the games, right? And sometimes they just happen to be these ones. So it's kind of like a mimic from Dark Souls or whatever, or Final Fantasy. And we've got everything rigged up apart from the body and head. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um gonna try and make all of these limbs separate as well so that's gonna be a bit of a faff but oh well mm, okay so let's hide everything else oh wait <laughs> I should join these objects to the one right now do 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 will you make outside mansion I like it the the thing is it's gonna be like that kind of weird shifting geometry where you're not quite sure if this is a real place or if it's if it's like a dream you know so I'm gonna take a lot of liberties with that kind of thing so there might be just outside sections even where you wouldn't think there is you know you crawl through a hole and you're in some weird desert for example you know I want it to be really kind of weird like that there will be some like con congruence or like you'll be able to know your way around after a while but it would be kind of um, a bit confusing at first i guess okay so let's split that off with y let's just split all of these off first why 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 But I, th I think like those sections will be not the whole game. Like there will be an area that's co pretty consistent with reality, but there'll be other places that's like a bit more, yeah, cool and awesome. <laughs> um, 
Ooh, now I've just noticed because I'm an idiot. This is way too many, too much like geometry going on. So I'm going to add these all together and just make this more simple because we've got so many tries right now. It's unreal. It would be funny if you walk past those mushrooms and you wouldn't know which. Yeah, that's the idea. That was exactly what I was thinking. And the thing is, it would change depending on the playthrough. I could just make it a kind of random thing, which one they are, which I'm sure will make speedrunners very happy. Maybe I can even get away with it being like that. If I make it like um, narrow enough. Yeah, I want to add a lot of that kind of stuff that adds um, replayability, you know. But it looks a little bit thin now, so maybe I'll just increase the size a little bit. Okay, so let's split everything off again. Oh, damn. Hey, you got to put... <laughs> Everyone going to replay that again? <laughs> Yeah, I think like replayability is a big thing. Also, um, being planning a little bit for with speedrunners in mind, I think goes a long way because, like Celeste, kind of did that, and that um, it did pretty well for it. I think. Um, I hope this doesn't look too funky with those kind of um, with this simple. Uh, kind of geometry but I've got to get the tries down somehow maybe I could just add one loop cut in the middle of it all god I'm gonna need to stop doing this over and over <laughs> yeah well that's what I'm kind of trying to do right now with the um, you know the YouTube and everything like that I'm trying to spread out and do some different things as well so that more people come here and then have a chance to see it you know oh you mean working on it yeah like it's n it's not something i'm like um i think we talked about it before it's definitely something i'm thinking about Yeah. Push pull. Yeah, like I, I kind of want to get the fundamental systems down, like the things that are really important. And I want to build the kind of the rules for the game, you know, so that people don't have to mess around too much to help me make it. Like the, all of the putting together in Unity stuff, I think I just want to do on my own, to be honest, like when it comes to sticking the pieces together. But maybe in the future, I'll get some help with for example the um rooms and things like this you know um because there's definitely areas where i could use a lot of help to do things more efficiently do you have well i did set myself like a deadline for a demo by the summer but it looks like that's probably not going to happen um 
but maybe by the end of summer that would be cool like right now the only thing i'm really concerned with is making the game demo you know and then after after that's um done that's when i'm gonna work on the game because when i work on the game uh when i work when i finish the demo like the demo is gonna have everything in it that i need to make the game you know it's gonna after that it will just be a case of building things out that's my thinking on it anyway and my my life is pretty um like it, i'm lucky to get time a lot um time is very valuable i do get time to work on the game but like you know i have a family and a baby so it's difficult to know exactly when i'm going to be able to work all the time but i always work every day at least a little bit but it's not very um um compatible with deadlines i think if you get where i'm going like i used to give myself deadlines uh, about like weekly goals about what i wanted to do that week um and i do write things on my board about what i want to achieve like on a day-to-day -day basis um but as far as long-term goals like it's I'm not in a huge rush to get the game out. Um, it's a passion project for me, you know? So even if no one buys it, I'm still gonna make it and release it, you know? I don't, um, I don't care if it takes me a long while, but it's not gonna be like too long, you know? But I don't know, maybe I should give myself a bit more goals to make me a bit faster. <laughs> Because I do get stuck into the details quite a lot. Hello, people joining. How's it going? Let's split these out. Split these out. Split these out. This. This. We're almost onto the rigging stage, people. Well, I've rigged some of it, but not all of it. Do you give yourself goals in life, Jimmy? It's only my opinion, and I might be wrong, but if you get more people to work on this game, you might get this demo. Like, I will I will get other people, but I need to get the, the fundamentals down first. It's kind of what I told myself I'd do, you know? I, I just mean the game mechanics. And... I don't know the thing as well with having too many people is i i i want them to kind of be helping me do the thing that i'm trying to do you know i'm worried if people will kind of try and take over in a way you know because i don't know it's just it's just weird to think about <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, close this off. That's an end gone, but I don't care. We can make it into uh, two quads, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna add here too. And if and I think that you should make deadlines. Push yourself to to. I noticed. If, yeah, I used to be like that, but I used to get like lose interest with projects and give up all the time. But now that I'm on my medication, honestly, it's like I've been really consistently happy with working on this game. So I, I just hope that continues, but I don't see a reason for it not to, you know. Like usually when you start a project you know you have this rush of dopamine that's really motivating you to um, get it done and then it doesn't work and you and then it or something comes up or something happens in real life you get distracted and then you give up but since I've been just medicated I just have 
managed to be really consistent and it's not something I did it's just literally because of the medication <laughs> so if I if I was taken off it I don't know it might be hard for me to carry on hmm now I didn't want it to look like a sausage really I mean, you're making progress. I think you're getting this game done and making games. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I got a bit stressed when I gave myself like too much, too many deadlines as well. Like, because I was kind of just thinking, oh, if I don't do this, then I I'm I'm never going to finish this game, you know. I'm just going to screw it up or something. Um, but since I've taken a more relaxed approach, I haven't felt like that. But maybe that's something about my mentality and not something about goal-oriented work itself, you know. Maybe I just need to adjust my way of thinking about things. Okay, so let's hide everything else. Let me just, uh, yeah, let me just do this again because that kind of worked leaning into the angle there. This part's slightly tedious, but once we get to the, uh, once we get to the juicy stuff, it's going to be good. You said you'd be up for doing some modeling for me, right, Jimmy? I haven't forgot about that. Oh, yeah, and Divi, the cyberpunk effect, that is very true. It's funny because, the, like, everyone was talking about I was even saying, you know, oh, I like CD Projekt Red because they, you know, they don't f release something until it's done and they're really, like, ethical company and all of this. And it's like, oh, okay. My mistake. <laughs> I mean, I said, but I have a job too. At the time, because of Rona, I was not... Oh, okay. What are you doing? And the thing is, if someone works on it with me, like, I can't pay them, you know? I don't, I'm, like, I'm living paycheck to paycheck pretty much. That's another issue. And, you know, thinking about if there'll be some contract or how it works, if I'll just pay people for the individual thing. A CNC me mechanist. What's a, what's a CNC? Just got it. How's it all going? Yeah, it's going really cool. I'm trying to... I turned it into this thing. <laughs> You're indie game developer. Just Google. I can't Google. I don't have Google. What do you take me for? Some kind of Googleite? Okay. Oh, it really triggers me online when you see people linking to that let me Google that for you thing. Like, oh. Like, uh. <laughs> Maybe I should make this top stem kind of shit. I'm about to do that. Were you actually about to do that? I, I, I get so triggered by that. Like, no one's actually ever done that to me, I swear. But it just is so, ooh, I don't know how to say it, ooh, does it. <laughs> Apley, how are you doing? Divi, how are you doing? Maybe YouTube link? 
Is it not something you should you could explain in human words? Oh, that's good. Glad to hear you're right, Divi. I'm right, thanks. Just fish, fi finishing up an essay. Nice. And when's the essay due? I always used to do it like the very last minute. <laughs> Wait. L. Oh, look at this. This is wonky as, wonky as a donkey. Yeah, wonky donkey. Okay. So that looks better. Not in English. <laughs> it was due three weeks ago. Uh, wow. Well, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. L. Yeah, the only annoying thing about this is sometimes I end up making it a bit wonky. And then it's kind of obvious. Ah, that's all right. So I don't really like having the kind of piping effect, but we can take advantage of that and make it just part of the design, you know? Got to think creatively. Oh, it's just a practice one, okay. <laughs> oh, like, I... That's another thing. If there was ever, like, a mock thing, a practice thing, I just would be like, ah, it's practice, so I'll just write whatever. Until I wrote that in my, like, finishing exams, you know? Like, my religious education test for my end of school was like a, they graded it as U ungraded because they wouldn't even bother to read it <laughs> or they they didn't think it was worthy of even like you know commenting on I was such a like I don't know I was always like I don't know some antichrist or something back then I, I really don't give a damn now but I was like um oh this religion is just a reason to stop peasants from killing each other and that's pretty much the only thing i wrote it and uh yeah that's pretty dumb i did pretty well i didn't do too bad but i i wasn't like a top student in school because i was always just lazy as the teachers said whether that's true or not we never know but my wife would probably tell you that I am very lazy. Okay, we're almost fully there. Oops. Oops. Oh, H. I like this guy. He seems really happy. He's got his arms up. He's got his hands in the air like he just don't care. I like that about him. <laughs> what happened to the other mushroom? Like, I just kind of didn't like it in the end. Um, I just got the idea to make it a bit like one of those trippy mushrooms, a liberty cap. And then I started just building out from there. This this did actually start as the original mushroom, believe it or not. It's just transformed. Um, but yeah, um, I just just tried to go for something a bit more scary. And by the time I'm finished with it, I think it's going to be pretty scary. Like... Yeah, and as I was saying to Jimmy earlier, we were talking about, and he suggested, and it was something that I had already been pondering, is um, this will be like a mushroom in amongst other mushrooms. And on each playthrough, which mushroom it is will change, you know? So suddenly this one will jump out at you and you'll be like, oh, God damn, why was it this there this time? You know, you will think the whole time that it's going to be this particular one and then it doesn't, it's not that and it's like, it, it ruins your expectations. It's going to be so cool. Uh, let's just make this a bit rounder. 
Okay, so I just need to do the very bottom one that now, and then we'll be ready to rig it up. So, Shift H, uh, might as well. Oh, actually, it's following the other one, so I don't move it too much, but yeah, just a bit. Let's extrude that. You don't like this? You don't like this mushroom, Divi? You think it sucks? I don't mind if you feel like that. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Alt H. Now I just want to position it all so that it's uh, cromulent. So let's move this one first. I like to, well, I want to do this first so that it doesn't cause me any problems later. I want to get the joints exactly where they would want to be to look okay. Um, let me just move all this stuff out. L, wait, L, 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 L. I'll stop saying L in a minute, I promise. Okay. I should be doing this inside view, shouldn't I, really? So. Oh no, Divi is silent. He doesn't like my new mushroom. I'm really glad you um, suggested uh, Stranger Things to me, by the way, Jimmy. I've been looking for, like, any excuse to watch it now. <laughs> it's just it's just really interesting. I like, I like. <laughs> I, um, I, someone, it's like, uh, some people told me today that it's, uh, it's for like or like girls <laughs> teenage girls like it and that uh, i shouldn't like it because <laughs> teenage girls like it they like were saying it's similar to like the twilight crowd and i was like whoa i didn't hear this <laughs> i know like i i'd never heard that before like <laughs> oh his neck's bending back a bit now uh so oh what i'm gonna do is probably uh oh it's because i lengthened one of the ones up here so if i just shorten this one it'll look better anyway i think l mm, no go to side view and just do it like this. I think that's better. And thanks, uh, Raziel X. How are you doing? You know what else I was thinking? I was thinking that this creature is pretty much always rooted to the ground, but just randomly, like after you've passed them a few times and think you're safe navigating your way around them, one will just kind of <laughs> just pop out of the ground and you'll be like, oh, damn. And it just starts running along on its hands, you know. That would be so cool. Ah, I should actually build for that slightly in mind. I love those moments that you just don't expect come in. Especially when you're in a place of like comfort and you're like, yeah, I know my way around this game now. Like nothing freaks me out so bad anymore. And then boom. Okay. Mm. 
to be crazy to hear just scrape itself against the ground gurgling yeah <laughs> gurgling yeah maybe it would gurgle like i'm not gonna gurgle actually because i might offend someone with my noises and we don't want that do we yeah Oh, but maybe like this, there should be some submerged bit, you know, maybe like a tail. Like I want to do it now before I rig it up and start animating because it'd be annoying to add it in later, probably. Oh, I just realized that top half is pretty much screwed. <laughs> Feeling a little better today, probably gonna, nice. I haven't had a bath in ages. I've been on the shower thing. Usually like in when it's cold, I do have a lot of baths because I just like the feeling of being warm for a second. <laughs> okay, I think that's all of them selected. I feel like this part is now too long. Shift H, oops. L, no. L, Shift H. Have you seen un un Intouchables? Do you mean Untouchables? I've heard of Untouchables. I haven't heard of Intouchables. Has it got like Bruce Willis in it or am I thinking of something else? Uh, it's a, uh, it's called Intouchables. Oh, a French movie? No, I wouldn't have seen that. You know what? I'm I'm gonna just leave it as is for now. I can I can work with it later. Oh, but maybe, sorry, I keep doing this like, maybe I should just do this. I'll get to the fun part soon, I swear. Yes, listen, I'm listening. I'll find you. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't do that kind of thing. I don't do that kind of thing. <laughs> I will buy it on a legal site. Have you heard of Crypt TV? Have some good stuff. No, I never heard of them. Crypt TV. All right. What's it about, Jimmy?
one of the best. I ain't gonna tell you what shit. Okay, is it PG thirteen? Can my baby watch it with us? It's family friendly. Oh, that's good. Do you have Amazon Prime? Uh, maybe. I don't remember. Like, I've got some Amazon stuff. If not, isn't it on Netflix or something? I've got Netflix. Well, I don't have it. The wife has it. Not on Netflix. What a surprise. Am I right? Am I right? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, let me just straighten this out. I get so caught into this, like, straightening things out. Like, it's like a black hole that sucks you in. And then by the time you know it, it's time to stop. It's time to stop. Okay, so. So I think everything's in place to start the rigaroonies, but first I'm gonna have to. Hmm, okay, I can't make up any un, any other excuses so far. So let's do it. Hmm. So I'm gonna add a single bone here in the center. around his bum point or here I guess I'm gonna name as I go so that it's just a bit more nice <laughs> okay so it is on Netflix oh cool stock one Maybe it will be available in your country. That would be a plus. <laughs> okay, if I do it this way, I should get the positioning right the first time and not have to screw around too much. Okay, so let's extrude from this bone to like here. And we'll call that mm, stalk two. Actually, to be fair, it's probably just faster to name them all later rather than doing it now because, you know, hey, let me select that, please. Thank you. I'm going to put on some Silent Hill, I think. God damn it, my one sec, my headset died. Is it available in your country, Jimmy? That might be a good indicator. Boom, 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 boom. 
bum ba bum bum. Oh god, that noise. One sec, one sec. Okay. About there. Next one should be about there. Next one be about there. Yeah, it should have some kind of pivot on its head. And I guess I'll put it there for the head bone. Head bone. Bing, bing, bing. Just make these, make sure they're straight at every axis. Uh, this one is not. What TV do you have? Uh, I actually found a TV the other day. Actually, my wife like spotted it, like being thrown out by the. Um, by the trash, like the recycling stuff outside. And I just went and said, I'm gonna get it. It's like 40, um, what, 42 inch screen, which isn't bad considering our, the one we had before that was just a 19 inch laptop screen, I think, where we were watching everything on. It's awesome, it like works fine. There's a few like weird um, green pixels that flash sometimes, but it's like not all the time. So it's pretty cool. I don't know what it is though. It's kind of old. Like there's some quirks to it. It doesn't have a remote, uh, but I'm going to get one of those universal kajiggers. Okay, stock six. Stock seven. Stock eight. Um, maybe I should call this end. No. I don't know if you can browse without being logged in. And I don't know, uh, I don't know the password and that is on the laptop. This one. Okay. So where's all this shit come from? Why is there a second stock? Is it mirrored somewhere? Oh, look at that. We got some stray bananas. I wonder if you can delete um, underlying bones. Well, I can just delete them here, right? Oh, that's really annoying. I've I've messed this all up, haven't I? All right, stock two, stock two o two. Uh, maybe we can get rid of that. Um, stock. Okay, so this is actually stock three. 
you're in Canada. I I'm in the Czech Republic. <laughs> you thought I was Canadian? That's very interesting. Okay. So all of that stuff is all good now. Now let's add um, let's add the vertex groups so that we can be sure that it's all good. Um, let's see, is the vertex group still here? No, we're gonna have to do it again, unparent it, and then parent it again. So Alt P, clear parent, and then that, then that, and then uh, parent empty groups. Now, we should have all of those in there now. So if we just go down one by one, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Hey, hey, <laughs> ordinary failure, how you doing? I'm from California, oh cool. Nederlands, yeah. Okay, so let's select our first. We're not going to do any screw ups this time. It's going to be a first time, good time thing. L, L. Stalk two, assign that. Stalk three, assign that. Stalk four, assign that. Stalk five, assign that. Stalk six, assign that. Wait. Oh, yeah. Stalk seven and assign that. Tabon Yemek at Sabi. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> What's the COVID situation like there in, uh, in Cali, dude? Now, I think this must be tip then. So let's add this to the tip. And I guess, ooh, I don't know how this is gonna work exactly. I don't want these to bend at all, see? Why not add bones for the mouth tentacles? I'm just checking that the bones I've already put in place are gonna be um, all right first. Doing it bit by bit. Okay, sign them to that. Great. Why didn't it assign them properly? I didn't see it assign. Oh, no, it is. Okay. Let me just check in pose mode. Yeah, see? It's kind of... Something's not right there. What did I miss? What did I say? I'm going to say... I'm going to do it all right the first time. And then I forgot that I'm me. And that I am stupid. Okay, so, oh, hood. Oh, these all need to be also assigned to the hood bone, I guess. No, I need to parent the hood bone to this bone. Keep offset. Okay, so this one is now the parent of that one, I think. Yeah, that's better. It looks a bit like the the friggin the thing from what's it called? Dreamworks the lamp. <laughs> it's like an evil Dreamworks lamp. All right, I'm going to set up some IK here, I think. I think that would be a really good place to do it actually. He's looking up for us. We still can't go in restaurants. So yeah, we 
Our government completely screwed us over. Hey, you sweet more. How's it going, dude? Nice to see you. Yeah, we can't even travel between like different districts right now. It's pretty weird. It's pretty weird like times we're in. Uh, let me see. Got this bone here to do this flap, which I think is cool. <laughs> I'm really excited about texturing this guy too. Okay, so what was I going to do? God damn it, my brain started to go like... Yeah, I love Silent Hill, man. I know a lot of people say it, but Silent Hill 2 is my my favorite I just I think Silent Hill 2 was the first one that I could properly comprehend like I think I wasn't old enough to be allowed like my dad didn't let me play the first Silent Hill 1 I think he let me play Resident Evil but he thought that the Silent Hill was too scary because he used to play some PlayStation 1 games Okay. Oh yeah, inverse kinematics. Sorry, I just completely lost my egg type brain simulation. Do you like Resident Evil 4? Yeah, I like Resident Evil 4, but it's like, that game makes me so tense, like ridiculously tense when I'm playing it. So I don't play it to chill, you know? <laughs> uh, where is it? Inverse kinematics. Target. I'm going to add a pole target like out. Uh, it's this way, I guess. Or maybe I don't even need one. We'll see. Mushroom rig. Um, stock. Um, stock one, I guess, would be the bottom one. Or maybe stock two. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Wait, did I just screw something up? Wait, is it? Have I done it the wrong way around? Yeah, I think I probably have. <laughs> My bad. I'm an idiot. Did you play Manhunt? Uh, no, but I I think like my mom wouldn't play. Let me play that one. Because uh, she maybe read about how bad it was. <laughs> how bad, I mean, like, uh, you know, scary. Or violent. Uh, I think it was because it was really violent. Tip, not tip. Stock seven. Oh, what's that all about? That's weird. Ugh. All right, something that ain't right here. Oh, chain length. What's manhunt like? Let me just put his arms back to his funny T-pose position. <laughs> okay. I think I know why it went weird. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. 
So I want it to be stock one. No, stock seven, sorry. Maybe those bones aren't connected and that's why it's doing that. Let me just double check. It's probably because I had to delete something. Okay, let's try it now. Yeah, I love horror games, but what really scared me was drowning in Sonic. That soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know what you mean. I speaking of drowning, like uh I remember playing Subnautica and the first time I like nearly drowned in that game, but I like didn't. That the first drowning that was scary as shit because it's like everything starts going dark and it's like kind of how you might imagine drowning would be like it they really nailed it like and boy hey why you do this why are you doing this oh uh, maybe it's because i've got this bone like constrained a little bit wait didn't i put a thing to stop it from oh i guess it's not there anymore Hang on, let me look at my character again, because I'm confusing myself for no reason. Have you guys actually played Subnautica? Like, dude, that game is scary. <laughs> Even though, I don't know, like, I, I played it without looking at the wiki or anything, and it just really freaked me out. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to open the character file. Horror movie. Mm. Well, it's hard to say, but let me have a think about it. Okay, so the bone target is our player bone leg I K L. Now, where's leg I K L? Is that the leg I K L? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was being stupid. I really oh wait shit it's it's more of like a th um, ho psychological horror because um, I love psychological horror but um, oh Jacob's Ladder that is friggin awesome and um, the the style um, that the kind of clothes that the main character wears is what inspired James's clothes from Silent Hill 2 and the whole movie literally feels like the thing that inspired Silent Hill, to be honest. If you guys have never seen that and you're into Silent Hill, Jacob's Ladder, man, is so good. Alright, I'm going to make an IK bone, like, at the bottom here. Has anyone here seen Jacob's Ladder before? Jacob's Ladder. Sorry, my music might be too loud. I'll type it in the chat. Uh, literally... Even if you feel like ditching out of this stream now just to watch that, like, I would understand because that movie is great. Okay, so, uh, mushroom rig, the bone is stalk IK, and we don't have a pole target right now, but we can set the chain length to, like, 13. Wait, why isn't it... Oh, do they all need to be kind of parented the other way? Oh, P. 
clear parent. Okay, your creature reminds me of the Half-Life creature. You know, the yeah, the things that, um, like, with the tongue hanging down. Yeah, I can totally see that. But this thing, when it when it um, brings its teeth out, it's going to be like, it's going to, this thing's going to open and come back like this. And it's going to have its gums visible, you know? And it's going to be like... <laughs> Okay, so ah, 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 ah. <laughs> All right, I screwed something up here. I was thinking about adding IK onto the fingers as well. All right, let's just clear this pose again. All right. I'm going to unassign these vertex groups as well. Clear all. Wait, what the hell? All. There we go. Yeah, I'm I'm so excited about this this creature. Like it's so much better than the one I designed before, I think. Well, in my opinion. Uh Okay. Let's go to object mode. I'm going to clear all of these uh things. L. Uh Oh, that doesn't have a bone, right? No, it does. Like what's happening here? Oh, it's because they're not vertex groups. Take that away. Take that away. Take that away. Where do you find the textures you use? Hey, puggles or puggles. <laughs> I, I paint them um, mainly. If you're talking about environment at the moment, I've just been searching royalty free textures, but they're all going to end up being painted too just the style that i like is kind of uh it just looks i think it looks more like unique if i paint it i guess thinking about doing a tutorial on how i do the kind of painting stuff at some point not to say that i think i'm an expert on it but uh Wait, is this still going to be assigned to the hood? Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think about having all these separate objects is a bit annoying to um, do this selection stuff, you know? Maybe I should turn the friggin x-ray off. That would help, wouldn't it? L, L, L. Oh, you know what's very terrifying when it comes to, when a teacher take like really long pauses in between its steps and then it just, oh yeah. Or when a creature doesn't just directly attack you. Like, you know, in Dead Space 2, there's those creatures that kind of just peek around the corner at you. And then they just sprint at you while screaming. It's like, oh, it's so the like the sound design in that game, especially in those moments, is just so good. You hear the creature like going like or something before it strikes, you know. Who knows the the guys I'm talking about from Dead Space? It doesn't make sense.
when will your game be out? Like, I really don't know, to be honest. It's going to take a while to do it. I'm hoping to have a demo by summer at some point, but it might be later than that now. Okay. No tip. I don't understand why this happens. It's like I want to remove all of the tip things, right? And it just doesn't let me. <laughs> the baby's making weird noises. She does this like fake cough where she's like, <laughs> There's a game I used to play called Exanima, that, although it isn't horror. Yeah. It sounds like an anime game. <laughs> Do you like slasher movie or game? Um, like, I'm not so big into the slasher movies, to be fair. Like... I uh, mo mainly I'm into psychological horror, or um, well, any kind of horror really. I do, I do I I would watch those films and I'd enjoy them, but like I know my wife wouldn't watch them. I think so. There's no point in even thinking about it. <laughs> well, maybe she would. I don't know. Maybe not. It's anything but anime. Okay. It. I guess it's just because it has anima in the name. So me being a basic kind of person put two and two together you know that remove all vertex groups come on just let me do that Okay, I found a way to do it. Good. So what's it about if it's not anime? I'm liking the lucid dream version of Toad. I'm liking the acid pill, red and blue pill. <laughs> Wait, Toad? <laughs> Let's just assign these back to the hood. Now, uh, I need to do this like the other way round, I think. L, 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 L. Oh, fudge. Chocolate fudge sundae. I just found something that's going to literally save my life. You can go here, vertex group, remove all groups. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh man, why can't I undo that? Oh no, no, no. Oh, I'm going to have to reparent everything all again. Wait, let me just check. Let me just check this everywhere. You can't undo it. No. I wonder if I can recover uh, an auto save today. At, today at copy buffer paste auto save. Today at nine twenty five. That's not what I wanted.
Oh god, I thought I just lost all of that. I was literally gonna poo myself. Wait, you're telling me... Oh wait, there's more. Sorry, I've been really slow with the chat. It's super low fantasy where the combat is essentially entirely... Huh. What does low fantasy mean? Does that mean like... Fantasy... Just with fantasy elements? Wait, you're telling me that monster that you're making right now is not Toad from Super... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hate that guy. <laughs> like, there's no animations, but the way your character moves is through relaxing and... Oh, that sounds kind of weird, but cool. <laughs> now, all of my groups are back, thank god. I'm, I nearly pooed myself, but I didn't. L. L. L, L, L for linked. Oh, not you. Oh my God. I don't know how to like deselect things. If someone could tell me, I'd be my muchos appreciados. <laughs> Have you ever played Five Nights at Freddy? I, th I think I played Five Nights at Freddy's like once, like the first one, but it freaked me out a bit. <laughs> I never felt, I don't like horror games where I never feel safe. I like a little bit of reprise, you know. High fantasy plays lots of anime magic, colorful or yeah. And low fantasy is like closer to medieval kind of stuff. Okay. Um, I can tell my meds are kind of running out because my brain's getting a bit foggy now on what I was doing. Okay, I need to remove, oh, these are removed. No, they're not. Vertex, vertex groups, um, remove from all. There we go. Now there should be no issues. Yay. Yes, Master, you're back. Teach me the way of PS1. Oh, hail Lord Arcadia. Hey, Invisible Warrior, how are you doing, man? <laughs> Nice to see you. Nice to have such a warm welcome, as always. So let's just check this uh, thingy Bobby is working. Wait. Uh, yeah, that's still working. That's, ooh, that shouldn't be like that, I think. But I guess it's all right if things are parented to that. Uh, I'm going to clear all the parents off these and hopefully it's not going to explode. Because I think for IK you have to do it backwards. So, control P. How are you doing, warrior? Okay, so this one is going to be parented to this. Connected. Why you do this to me? Control P. I'm very confused as to why it's doing this. Control P. Uh huh. Alt P. Clear the parent. Maybe if I do it like that. Is it because of the ends are the wrong way? Oh, that's probably it, isn't it? But wouldn't it be... Oh, I'm so, like, freaking confused right now. There must be a way to switch the head. Let's disconnect all the bones. Armature, bones, wait. Separate bones. They should all be separate now. Now, if I do this now and make that the parent, no. Connected. Yeah, it doesn't like doing it that way, so I need to find a way to swap the head and tail. Armature, uh... 
could probably make a script for this to be fair. But all Silent Hill ambience is more scary than most of the games. Well, yeah, that's true. It's all like scraping and machines and like stuff in it. Yeah. Yes, I saw a documentary of the making of Silent Hill. Today I'm watching you, the master who can't watch book. Ah, Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. Maybe if I just copy the um, positions here. Wait, let me just sw swap head, tail, blender, bones. Ah, W switch directions. I love Blender. It's always some random stuff like this. Wait. Well, it's not W anymore. Switch direction. I'm going to try it like this and see what happens. I'm just trying to set up IK for those of you that are confused. Uh, switch direction. Switch direction. Oh, I can just right click. Okay. Now let's see if that does it. Um, so the IK bone will be this one, because it's like a leg, right? But it's like a really long leg that does stuff. Wait, what am I talking about? <laughs> it's a really long leg that does stuff. Yes. So let's add the bone constraint in pose mode. Oh, it's already got it, All right? Stalk IK, okay. K, chain length like this. Oh, these need to all be connected though. Forgot about that. Do you think I can? Make models, you mean? I think you could. I don't see uh, why not. What what kind of like CPU do you have? And what graphics card do you have? I think it's mainly. I don't know. Leave, see you later. Grant, Danny, good luck with your apprentice. <laughs> I got a test. I need to focus. Creatures looking pretty good. Thanks, dude. Have a nice day. Thanks for hanging out. Always appreciated. Okay. So. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing I'm looking for. So he can be like a slithering snake or something. Oh, here comes the ambience, by the way. <laughs> uh, no, I, I did French in school, like, but I'm not good. <laughs> All I can say is things like um, J'adore um, La Chien <laughs> I don't know Le Chien or 
basic um, stuff like that, you know, eggly. So I remember that word. Like I know words. There's this song that's in like really gibberish French that I could sing, but I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> My mum speaks pretty fluent French. My mum ran away to France when she was like 16. Which is pretty cool. You swear? <laughs> I don't remember many well i know mird mird no mird i'm saying it in like a czech way now it's like <laughs> okay tip Right, it's not quite done. J'adore le chien. Yeah, I love the dog. A bit too much, some people said. <laughs> only kidding, only kidding. Not, nothing like that. <laughs> uh, so they need to be... Oh, I need to do the thingy with the hood again. Uh, parent it to that. No, keep the offset though. Although that might be weird now. No? Okay. Yeah, it is weird. What's what's the haps? Oh. Oh, I wonder if you can se select like which direction it's coming from with that. Uh, hang on. I mean, I like the... <laughs> oh, really? I can't say J'adore le chien. That's a shame. Let's try the IK from here. Target uh, mushroom rig bone is. Where is it, the IK? Oops. <laughs> That's not right. Oh, okay. See you later. You see more. Thanks for hanging out. It's been nice.
I can't help but feel this stalk should be like higher up, you know? Maybe it's okay. But the problem is uh, I'm wanting to like rotate it without this bit kind of spiraling down. It'd be cool if it bent like the other way, you know? And it just feels like it shouldn't be supported by this weight. So maybe I'll need to change that. Let me just switch these things up, make it so it connects more around the middle. Maybe that will solve the problem. I guess that feels a bit more natural just so long as we can give it a nice resting position too and what happens if we well maybe a pole target could be useful too let's see You're gonna add a bony boy at the back um, edit mode add single bone uh, this will be our pole target we only need one of them for this guy I guess a bit further back like that let's call it pole target okay and I guess he should be parented to the root bone I can't remember actually no I don't think you do actually Anyway, let's go back to pose mode and set it so this guy is pole target. All right, and then we'll change the angle to be like here. It's nice when you're not working on something that's like symmetrical because then you don't have to like stress so much. <laughs> yeah, see that'll work. Oh, I think I know as well what it is. Like maybe if this bone was smaller, let's just clear the pose so if this um bone was literally like this so that the rotation point is like on it i think that's but then that feels like a really unintuitive way of doing it so i'm not i'm not entirely sure about that But it does give us a bit more freedom.
there's lots of things I could do with this uh, creature now. So it's pretty. Yeah. So he'll like strike forwards, you know, once the enemy gets close, once the player gets close enough, and then this will all open out like this and fold back so you just see the gums and it will like just like you yeah, stab the hell out of you <laughs> so yeah i'm pretty happy with that now i'm gonna do the bones for the gonna do the bones for the um tendrils or whatever they are So, these will all be kind of connected to this, but from an offset, I guess. So, let's start with this one here, I guess. Add single bone. Have it rotate from the inside there. Pivot there. Pivot there. And that's the first one. So where's this on the list? Okay, so we'll call it tendril. I, I guess it's more of like a tooth or something, but I don't know what to call it. Tendril sounds like it makes sense. Tendril one. Lower tendril one. Uh, I'm going to call it base tendril, middle tendril, end tendril. Okay. Okay, so I guess this is supposed to be this one here. So let's just try and position it thusly. Sometimes I get the feeling there's a much easier way to position things than the way I'm doing it, you know? I have so much to learn. Okay. So I guess I'll just, well, I'll parent that to that and keep the offset. No, no, to this, sorry. Control P, keep offset. Now let me just test that that's not going to screw anything up. Wait, did it move? That was weird. <clears throat> so if you're just joining, just kind of winding down the stream now. Uh, wait, let's copy these bones. See, I don't know how to do it. Oh, wait, I can just shift D it. I'm an idiot. Let's get this into a pretty okay position. <clears throat> oh. 
I'm so excited to start painting this guy. It's going to be pretty fun. Okay, let's do it again with these bones. Shift D. Oh, actually, I should be naming these as I go. I don't want to screw myself over. So this is, what's this one? Tendril base. Wait, I could just name it like this and then it will automatically do it, won't it? Maybe if I call it dot one, and then it should follow my convention, hopefully. Okay. Well, we're nearly at the end of that stream. Just a few more minutes and then I'm going to wind things up. Hey, Nicholas, how's it going? I'm just, I'm going to end in like five minutes, but I'm just going to stay for a, until then. How's it going, man? Check out our spooky creature in his T-pose. Ooh. It's a bit spooky. D. No, it doesn't like following my naming conventions. That's a shame. want to get this nice and straight I'm really excited to see these like things move it's gonna be so cool thanks Nicholas I I'm so excited for the texturing on this one like unbelievably <laughs> so I guess I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow let me rename these four 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 what you've been up to Nicholas okay just two more to do now this five as is the tradition shift 
D to duplicate again. And then just bring it in here. If you're enjoying it would be appreciated if you give it a like so that we're fighting the one dislike that we have so far <laughs> okay so that's all sorted now so let's go to oh wait i need to rename that stuff where is it Tendril six, Tendril six, Tendril six. So, yeah, here we have it. Ah, really liking this so far. I'm excited to build like mechanics around this guy because he's just going to be so cool and maybe i'll do some like ik for his arms too i'm not sure yet oh that's not right this finger's connected to what is it connected to something maybe it's the hood <laughs> I better sort that out before I get confused. What are you assigned to, my friend? Upper thumb, upper thumb. Okay. Was it the tip? Upper thumb. I am not sure. Oh, this just isn't assigned to upper thumb for some reason. Wait, is that going to fix things? Probably not, actually. Oh, it did. Okay. That's nice. This someone was saying something about Dark Souls yesterday and I can kind of see it now. Like I think I started thinking about Dark Souls when I was making this redesign. This song is so grungy. I like it. <laughs> what was that? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, everyone, I'm going to end the stream there. We've got everything rigged up. Uh, I just need to add the um, tendrils into the right vertex groups. But, yeah... We're starting to see the something, the start of something that might be pretty nice and scary. So I'm excited about it. So have a nice 
have a nice rest of your evening, guys. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.